Hi, for this example, what we are going to do is we are going to find the minimum sample size that we need to be 95% confident the population mean is within 10 units if the standard deviation is 75. This is the formula that you would use any time that you are dealing with a population mean and you want to be within a certain value. So you want your margin of error to be within a certain thing. So it could be something where um, you're trying to approximate the heights of adult males that um, are in the age group from 40 to 45 and you want to be within say one inch or something like this. Um, so this is the formula for the minimum sample size. And the formula is n equals where n is the sample size the ZC or the critical value, this could also be Z star in some um, textbooks. Some textbooks, they don't even give you this. They just require you to use the margin of error formula or the error formula, and then you have to solve for the sample size. So this one has already solved for the sample size for us. And then we would just plug in all of these values. ZC could also be notated as Z star. So if your textbook uses Z star, um, that's the same thing as ZC. It's just your Z score that corresponds to your level of confidence. Okay. Um, the sigma is our population standard deviation. If you know the sample standard deviation, you would go ahead and use the same formula. As long as your preliminary sample has at least 30, you're okay to use this formula um, to come up with the sample size. And the reason is, is if you have a sample standard deviation, then you use the t-distribution, and the t-distribution requires you to know the sample size. So the zc would just give you the absolute largest sample size that you would need to be within a certain level. Um, so this is the formula, whether you have the information for a um, knowing the population standard deviation or if you know the sample standard deviation, you would use the same formula. So in some cases, and I'll just put this, um, S can be used to approximate sigma. And remember that S is the sample standard deviation. So if you have the sample standard deviation, you could plug it in here as long as N ends up being 30. So with this, let's um, figure out our important information. So remember that we need to find ZC or Z star, whichever one you are more comfortable with using. That's just your critical value for 95% confidence. Um, I know it's 1.96, but in order to get there, you would just go to your level of confidence and you would use 1.96. If you were looking for 98% confidence, this would be your value. Um, but since we want 95%, we're going to use 1.96. And the T table that I was using was just one that I found online. Um, most textbooks supply their own, so it could look slightly different, but the bottom um, row is always a z-score in a t-table. And then sigma is 75, so we would plug in 75. And the error part, and I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm plugging it into the whole formula. I was just going to tell us that the zc was 1.96. Now let's use the whole formula. So n is equal to 1.96, and then we would just plug in our values. We know that sigma is 75, because that was given to us. The error is the within part. So when you're reading through the within part, this part right here is always going to be your margin of error. So the error would be 10, that's the within part of the word problem, okay? Um, so this E right here, we would just replace it with whatever it says within, and so and since it says within 10 units, we would replace that with 10. And then we have to remember to square this value. So I'm going to use the TI-84 to help me find this. You can use any calculator to plug it in. You would just go to a regular screen and you would open a set of parentheses and then you would type in the 1.96 times the standard deviation, which in this case was 75. 
And then we would do divided by 10. And make sure you close the parentheses before squaring. So you want the whole thing, the 1.96 times 75 divided by 10 in parentheses, squared, and then hit Enter. And this would be your value, the 216.09. So since we cannot pull 0 .09 of a person, with this, no matter what, you always round up. So we would round up to the next integer. So we would need a sample of 217. I just rounded that up um, to be within 10 units with 95% confidence. Okay, um, so like I said, this formula is used anytime you're trying to figure out how, what your sample size needs to be um, when you are dealing with the population mean. As always, thanks for watching. Please continue to check for more content. If there's something specifically that you would like to see, um, if you're on my website, mathandstatshelp.com. Make sure that you fill out the contact us area. If you're on YouTube, just make a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.